Greetings from the north woods of Michigan's Upper Peninsula. I'm Natasha, your plant-centered lifestyle guide. And for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, please know that at the end of this video, there is an explanation of plant-centered living. Today, I want to talk about making lemons into lemonade. And I have a huge thank you uh, that goes out to Jeannie uh, as she inspired uh, this video. Jeannie is part of our Plant Centered Living Facebook group. She also receives my weekly wisdom email newsletter. And um, she uh, is someone who lives in our local area. And uh, I feel very fortunate to call her a friend. The other day I was at her house and she tried out a new recipe. And it was for mac and cheese. And neither one of us were particularly thrilled with it. And uh, so uh, we both said, hmm, that one needs some work. Well, I received a message from her uh, on Facebook yesterday. And I would like to share that message with you because in it um, are some real pearls of wisdom. And one thing that I really appreciate about Jeannie is her positive attitude. And I really hope uh, that her example can inspire uh, those of you who are also making the transition and may run into a situation in the kitchen uh, where you have a meal that uh, you would label as a complete flop. Okay, I've had them myself where you go, oh, I'd never make this again. But instead of just composting that dish, uh, what you can do sometimes is do what Jeannie did and turn lemons into lemonade. So let me read to you uh, what she has to say. Then making lemons into lemonade with my mac and cheese, added almond milk, which made it creamier, and last night stuffed a big portobello mushroom, and tonight had it with tofurkey sausage and avocado pesto sauce. Still have enough left for a couple more incarnations. And I love it. She's so positive, and rather than saying, huh, I didn't really like that one at all, uh, she said, well, what else can I do with it? How can I improve it? And I think her attitude is what we all need to adopt when it comes to making big changes in our life, and especially in the way that we eat, since we do eat three times a day, it just stands to reason that there are going to be some meals that we're not going to be thrilled about. Now, I'm not going to tell you that you won't have some there's nothing you're going to do with that meal to make it taste any better. And yes, your compost pile will um, indeed welcome that dish. However, uh, for the most part, uh, you can turn a dish into something else. Maybe it means putting it in a casserole pan and baking it in the oven. Maybe it means adding something to it uh, to make it a different dish. Or maybe it means adding that dish to something else. Um, or maybe using it as a side dish and perhaps putting some hot sauce on the top. Or maybe you mix in some salsa with it, depending on what it is. But there are lots of creative ways uh, that you can remake dishes. Uh, just based on what Jeannie shared with us here, she gave us a few ideas. So again, make lemons into lemonade and realize that during your transition, you are indeed uh, probably going to experience um, some frustrating moments in the kitchen. But if we have a positive attitude and keep moving forward and uh, don't let that get us down, then there's going to be a whole lot more positive uh, feelings in the kitchen than any of the negative ones. Hope this helps you to have a little bit different perspective on some of those kitchen flops. And I hope all of you have a great week. Take care, and I will talk to you soon.